Hello and welcome to Amakosi Talks. If it is your first time visiting this channel, please do subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that you never miss any future uploads on the channel. Well, Kosi Nation, we are still on FIFA break at the moment, but I do hope you are enjoying all the international football that is available at present. But to those who are more like myself, I cannot wait for domestic football to resume. I feel domestic football is just way more interesting than international football. And right now, I'm waiting anxiously for kickoff on Saturday. And now, getting straight to today's video. The main thing that I would like us to talk about is all the negative comments and all the negative hype that we have seen and heard around our club. Now, I know everyone is rightfully entitled to their own opinions, and I fully respect that. And judging from the current events that have been happening around our team, it is easy to understand where all those negative feelings and comments are coming from. But having said that, I do feel that us as Kosi Nation, us being the core, the heart and the spine of the club, we shouldn't be moved by those sort of comments. Honestly speaking, there have been wayward comments such as saying we will be relegated this season in the league. And never in my wildest of imaginations has that crossed my mind. Of course, I am fan enough to admit that we haven't had the best of starts to our season. But other than the struggles that we have been in in the past few games, relegation is just purely far-fetched for me. Now, another thing that I want us to touch on is the call to drop or question the abilities of our coach, Gavin Hunt. Now, Kosi fans, by no means have we had the best of starts. Building up to the season, we already had issues in the football club, and Gavin Hunt knew very well that this was no ordinary task. On top of that, we had a fixture schedule that put us against the defending champions, our derby rivals back to back, and we also played a Maritzburg side that is always a hoodoo team for us. We always seem to struggle whenever we face Maritzburg United. The harsh criticism directed at the coach, I feel, is just purely immature. We cannot pretend not to see that the coach only has what is available to work with. Yes, we can debate on his decisions and some of his tactics, but to already decide he is not the right man, I think that is just uncalled for. We only have played six games and half of those have been played in a cup competition. And on top of that, we have been playing without a fully fit squad and a proper pre-season for the players. As Kosi fans, I don't think we should panic that much because I believe we have the best candidate for our situation right now in coach Gavin Hunt. What I also don't understand is where are all these doubts about him coming from? Because looking at Coach Hunt's record, it is all there to see. Coach Hunt has finished in the top 3 of the PSL in 10 of the last 13 seasons. He has been able to do that despite not coaching any of the so-called Big 3. And that on its own right there is even a greater achievement. Everything around football is a process. Therefore, we cannot expect Gavin Hunt to produce miracles. Last season, with the same players, we blew a very big margin over the eventual league winners. And those were the signs. We may have lost an influential player in Maduleka towards the end, but we should have been able to cover the ground for it. To blame Hunt for cracks that started way before him is just purely unfair. We have to keep believing that whatever he is trying to achieve with the players does eventually work out and we do start seeing it show on the field. Now, another thing that I feel is very, very crucial in regards to the future of the football club, and that is the future of Bobby Mutaung as our football manager. I think for the longest of time now, we as fans, we have been shouting and crying to have him removed in that position. Now, I also know that a lot of us have been divided on who should take over from him should he be removed. And as much as the idea of someone who is a club legend being the much preferred candidate to take over, I ponder myself with the question of how possible is that? Can a situation happen whereby our chairman looks beyond someone like Kaza Jr.? And quite frankly, I don't see it happening. 
well at least for the time being i don't see it being anyone other than one of the modaungs taking charge of that role personally though i wouldn't be against kaiser junior taking over his experience in the game will definitely come in handy for us and considering that he also played in the team at a time when we flourished the most but even if he takes over it's the right setup and personnel that will determine how well he also does and that is why i am pleading to the chairman the time for change has come buying half cheap international prospects that still need to prove themselves won't get us anywhere we either start buying quality players or we stick to building our own young talents we already have the infrastructure to do that and it's now a matter of application and seeing the results for the past decade bobby's plan has failed and as a result we have lost our culture and identity as kaiser chiefs football club now kosi fans do go down to the comment section and leave your thoughts and sentiments on everything discussed here today and if you are enjoying the content here on amakosi talks give this video a like and let's reach as many kosi fans out there as possible ikosi alipelu moya